Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about stack overflow error. What is stack overflow error and when it can happen? So for each thread, you have uh, you have you'll be creating a stack internally. It will create a stack and a memory will be allocated for that particular stack. Okay. So let's see uh, debug and see the example. Um, so stack overflow is thrown by the JVM itself. So when it will happen, the the memory that is allotted to a particular thread, if it is exhausted, if it becomes empty, then you will get a stack overflow error. Stack overflow error. That means I have allocated one MB for the particular thread stack. Okay, that one MB is exhausted. It is it has become empty and throwing an error. Okay, so this. I can show you in a demo using a regression method, regression, uh, recursive method. So, recursive method is like keep calling the same method again and again within a single thread. So let's debug and see what exactly happens. So it will create a separate thread. Okay, we see here it will be a separate thread, and okay, stack overflow main. Okay, so it will keep keep calling method. There is a recursive method I've written here, so it will keep on calling the same method again and again and again. So you will be getting a stack overflow exception. So we got stack overflow error. So for demo purpose, I'm catching this stack overflow. This is not a good practice to catch stack overflow error, but for demo purpose. So I've called this method, which is a recursive method, which is called in thread. So that means a stack is created for a particular memory, and that that memory has been exhausted, and we have got the error. Okay. So here I'm trying to print out stack error, overflow error happened. This is for demo purpose. I've, I'm trying to catch it. So inside the try catch block, I've, I I call this recursive method, and we got this error. If you see the decompiler, I open rt.jar from the Java environment. I open this stack overflow error class to just to see what exactly it means. It is extending VM virtual machine error. That means this error will be thrown by virtual machine, which manages the memory, stack memory and heap memory. And finally, it goes to throwable. It is extend to throwable. Okay. So this is how stack overflow happens. Okay. Hope this video is useful for your Java into preparation. Thank you and all the best for your interview. If you like this video, please press the like button. Thank you.